This is one thing that triggered me so much while doing this workout. Oh my god, I cannot stress this enough, but you cannot train your belly to lose belly fat. You cannot decide where to lose body fat. Your body decides that for you. Your genetics decide that for you. Hey guys, my name is Judith and you're watching my video. And today's video is all about the Absent Booty Hourglass Challenge from Chloe Ting because I did that for 25 days. So this video is gonna be all about my opinion on the whole program, how I felt doing it and obviously at the end the results of me doing it. So first of all, my main reason why I work out is as weird as it sounds, to gain weight. I have always been struggling to gain weight. I am kind of skinny. I am not, like, I don't have an eating disorder or anything. I just, I can eat whatever I want and I don't gain weight. Then Chloe Ting came out with this workout challenge and I thought it would be a fun thing to try it out. In this challenge, you're supposedly gonna get the hourglass body figure. Basically like getting a smaller waist, but getting a bigger butt. Let's just go over the workout program. You can go on Chloe Ting's website where you can find the whole like plan for all the um, five, well, like all the four weeks. It's like almost four weeks. It's like 25 days and there's also rest days. When I started doing this um, program on the first day, there's the tiny waist round butt workout and the abs in two weeks workout. And when I did the tiny waist round butt workout, like you're also supposed to do these workouts with resistance bands. And Chloe actually like sells her own resistance bands for this. So you can use like different resistance bands, which are like easier or harder to do. She recommends not using resistance bands in the first week and then using the easiest one on the second week, the hardest one on the third week, and then the hardest, hardest one on the fourth week. My problem with that was I did not really have a resistance bands and Amazon Prime did like take forever to deliver. All the shops were closed. So what I did was I found this like elastic -y resistance band that I still had lying around from when I got it for free somewhere. I just tied it together and used that as a resistance band. And as you can see, it's like really hard to stretch it. Like it's definitely not an easy one. <laughs> so on the first day, I tried to do the workout without the resistance bands. And I have to say that for me, personally, it didn't do anything. Like, I did not feel like the uh, movements are gonna, some, in some way at all, are challenging to my muscles. Which is basically what you want to grow muscle. You want to challenge your muscles and you want to increase the weights you use to then gain more muscle weight. So the workouts just didn't do that for me because I am not a beginner to doing workouts. Uh, I basically did sports my whole life, so when I did the first day of the workout, it was like, kind of not that effective in my opinion. So from the second day on, I started to use my resistance bands. So I used those, I think like for the first week, I used those, just these bands nothing else and went through the whole week i did every workout the way it's like the way it's on the plan if it was three videos i would do all three videos in one go and if it was rest day i would sometimes actually do a rest day and sometimes i would just do some other type of workout like go hiking or mountain biking you name it i just can't sit around all day do nothing so active rest day was usually just me doing another workout also on day seven there's like an optional laugh handle workout which i also always did like i did everything that was in the plan then after week one on week two i was like okay so how can i like improve like what my muscles are doing because i can't just keep doing the same movements over and over again to grow muscles because that's not how it works. In my parents' house, when I was helping them clean it, I found these, which are basically, they're filled with like sand and one of those is like half a kilogram. And you can use those to like put them around your arm 
or around your ankles. So that's what I did. I used two of those at a half a kilogram, tied it around my ankle like so, and then did the whole workout with those weights on my ankles. And then I did not use the resistance bands, but only the weights for one week. And I did also use the weights for, like I said, throughout the whole workout. So I also used it for the ab workouts, which I will talk about later. So this is all about more the booty part of the workouts first. On week three, I kept using this weight, but I also kept adding the resistance band again, doing all the workouts with the weight and everything. On week four, I added these weights, like I didn't add them, I used these weights instead of the other weights. These are one kilogram each ankle, so it was two kilograms. Used just the weights and not the resistance band for that week, because I also felt like sometimes with the resistance band, I could not uh, do the full range of motion while doing those uh, while doing those exercises which is very important like it's better to do it in full range of motion than with a resistance band where you can't do it in the full range of motion so, so then week four came along and that's just day 22 to day 25 so it's not actually a full week and for that week i decided to use the two kilograms on my ankles plus the resistance bands again and that was like low-key killing me at the end like that i actually for the first time i felt like it was actually kill me like not kill me it was actually like doing something for my muscles like not that i didn't feel like it did not like it didn't do anything but yeah i used those weights and i went for all the workouts on the plan and also on the last day there's like three vid like two videos and then there's one more optional app workout and i did that as well i also which i can highly recommend to anyone who wants to try out a challenge like that do it with a friend i did it with my friend zoe we started together from day one and we would each day would message each other hey which time today you want to do the workout we would like video call during the workout and that's actually what kept me motivated during this time to actually keep up because i've had days where i've been tired and i didn't want to do the workout anymore but then it was like i don't want to let my friend down because we're doing this together so that actually helps a lot so let's start talking about the ab workouts because i don't know uh, my friend actually she always thought that the ab workouts were like the most tiring workouts and it was like her least favorite like she would much rather do the leg workouts because in her opinion they were easier for me it kind of like the ab workouts didn't really do much for me because uh, i remember like one day um the workout plan is like just two uh, ab videos so it's like 20 minutes of ab workout and after that i was like okay well now I'm just gonna do another 15 minutes of an ab workout that I personally know is gonna kill my abs because after these 20 minutes of ab workouts, of Chloe Ting's ab workouts, my abs still didn't feel killed. Yeah, I don't wanna bash her or anything, like I don't wanna start drama. Definitely for me, for my level of fitness, the ab workouts were not that hard in the first week where I only used the resistance bands. Um, for the leg workouts and nothing for the ab workouts but then when i used when i started using the ankle weights and also used that for the ab workouts like for example for the leg raises or something it really does make a difference if you have a weights on your ankles that's when i first like really thought that her ab workout were actually tiring was when i had two kilograms on my ankles while i was doing like corkscrews or something but yeah, let's just talk about the results. So here I have a picture of me the day before I started the challenge. And yeah, as you can see, I already kind of had abs because I always kind of had abs because I have like trained gymnastics for six years or longer. I can't even remember. Like I've always done some sort of sport like I, I remember I had like almost a six pack when I was like 12 or 14, so I always had abs. But my butt is pretty small. So another thing is that I sadly did not measure my waist and my butt until day nine because I was, uh, when I started this whole 
challenge. I was still living in my apartment in Vienna and now I am back at my parents place and like on day nine I was back at my parents place and I decided to take advantage of their measuring tape. So I measured myself. So these are the measurements I had on day nine of the challenge. I don't think it makes like that much of a difference. <laughs> my waist was 66 centimeters on day nine. My butt was on 90 centimeters on day nine. And now I measured myself today, which is like four days after I got done with the challenge um, to just give my booty a little time to grow maybe still a bit. Today, my waist is actually still at 66 centimeters so it did do nothing for my waist basically but I'm, I'm telling you my butt is at 93 centimeters so I got a whole three centimeters of butt and I've also gained two or three kilogram ever since I started this challenge so it might be not only my parents cooking but actually gaining butt muscle in body weight so here you can see on the left is the before pic and on the right is the after pic. You can see that I got some of the abs and also you can see that my booty got a bit bigger. Like I don't know if you can see that well from that angle but it did actually get bigger like it feels bigger. And also my hips did get a bit wider and rounder. So now let's talk about the most important thing when you're doing a body transformation challenge like that and that's nutrition so one thing that is most important when you're working out and you want to actually achieve goals is your nutrition so when you want to gain muscle weight you have to eat a lot of protein which is why i was drinking a protein shake every time after i worked out like almost every time sometimes i forgot and then if you want to lose belly fat you cannot and this is one thing that triggered me so much while doing this workout oh my god i cannot stress this enough but you cannot train your belly to lose belly fat like that's not how it works that's not how your body works you cannot decide where to lose body fat your body decides that for you your genetics decide that for you so you cannot do a laugh handle workout and then get rid of your laugh hands it's not how it works. You can build muscle in certain areas when you're training that muscle. Sometimes like it tones, it gets tighter because your mu muscles are more defined, but you cannot lose body fat in certain areas. Like you cannot train your belly to uh, lose belly fat, you cannot train your legs to, le uh, to lose leg fat. That's not how it works. So. Now that we've established that, I will tell you how it works to lose body fat. Not a lot of people want to hear it, but losing weight is all about your calorie intake. So basically, you cannot lose weight. No, not possible to lose weight if you're eating more than more calories than your body needs that day. You can calculate uh, the amount of calories you need but there's all these apps that do it for you so there's so many calorie tracking apps you can use to do that and then that will calculate how many calories you need that day and then you need to track your calories and then if you have a Fitbit it will like or f an, another fitness tracker it doesn't have to be from Fitbit it will calculate the calories you burned that day and then if you're actually tracking everything you're eating it will tell you if you ate more or less or just the right amount of calories you would need that day and the thing is if you want to lose body fat you need to eat a little bit less than what you should be eating or, or just eat the same amount and do more exercise it doesn't matter because if you're doing exercises like Chloe Ting's exercises where like everything from 80 to almost 300 calories that I burned during this exercise is because some are just 20 minutes, some are 50 minutes. 300 calories is actually a snack. So you can eat one more snack and be the same weight or you cannot eat that snack and lose weight. Or, and now is the important thing, why I think I did not lose any weight, which is understandable and did not lose any centimeter or millimeter even around my waist is that I was trying to gain muscle weight. So I was eating a lot of protein and I was making sure I eat enough calories because your body cannot grow muscle if it's in a caloric deficit. So 
you can't actually and that's one thing that I always also have a problem with it's like not really that like possible to gain muscle weight but at the same time lose a lot of belly fat or just fat in general because as we already established you cannot choose where you lose your fat so if anyone who's watching this actually wants to do the Chloe Ting uh, 2020 hourglass uh, workout challenge do it I'm not saying it's a bad program I'm just saying that it's unrealistic to lose uh, belly fat and also gain booty muscle weight at the same time because there's no nutrition that covers both of that you either are eating to gain muscle weight or you are eating to lose fat but you can't really do both at the same time so what i would suggest you if you really look for those drastic like changes and like results after your workouts is to just um, get that booty through growing your muscle training because there's certain training type that you can do to tr like gain muscle weight and that's where you basically don't do more than 12 reps but you don't just stop after 12 but you increase the weight so much that you can't do more than 12 and of course during that time you can also train your abs with Chloe's workouts and what with other workouts it doesn't really matter uh, like to tone them or whatever you won't really get a smaller waist when you're trying to gain muscle weight because that's not how it works so just get that booty first then once you're happy with your booty then you can focus on losing like body fat percentage because that's in the end what's gonna make your abs be defined if your body fat percentage is too high you will basically not see your abs even if they're there even if you've trained them enough you will not see them like i'm 100 percent sure that i would have a six pack if my body fat percentage was lower so all in all even though i just ranted for the last couple of minutes about what everything that i think is wrong with these workouts i still would recommend them to anyone who wants to try them because they're fun they're a fun way to move your body and another reason why i do my workouts is not only to gain weight but also because it helps my mental health so much and so i do workouts so i feel good mentally and not with the way my body looks. I like the way my body looks no matter what it looks like. I mean, yeah, I like having three centimeters more of a booty, but also it doesn't really make that much of a difference in my self-esteem. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself that I managed to gain two to three kilograms of body weight. I don't know if it was just muscle weight. It probably wasn't because my belly did get a bit chubbier, but that's okay because who? cares honestly if you don't want a full challenge and you want another um channel that has workouts that i in my opinion find a bit harder than chloe Ting's workout challenges uh you can check out madfit so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you did so please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below